I'm back again for like the 15th time. I don't know. It's just I got stuff like pouring out of me today. I'm very happy today. I'm very excited today. Uh, don't really know exactly why. I think I know why, but I, it's, that's not it. Uh, oh, I need to get gas. Praise God I can get gas because I don't like getting gas. I don't like stopping on the way home. But I'm going to do it anyway because the Lord has blessed me with gas. I'm going to put it in that tank. Um, but anyway, while I'm on the way to the gas station, I kind of wanted to, because I just put a video up, you know, before I uh, went back to work after my lunch break. And basically what I was saying in the video was I, that I might lose my job here um, because I don't do well at it. And I know it's almost coming to a close. I just know. Um, so with my job almost coming to a close, you know, usually people who know they're about to lose their job or think that they're about to lose their job would be very sad, you know? But I'm not sad at all. And um, even if it does boil down to, you know, my own sales techniques that is causing me to lose my job, um, I'm still not sad because I didn't do nothing bad or foul or evil to lose my jobs. It's just because I don't, I lack the skill, the sales skills. So if I lose my job, I'm not saddened or depressed or anything like that. And like I said, the Lord prepared me, you know, he, he gave me, you know, he's been teaching me throughout the last couple months, um, my view on life. Um, so if I look at my job as this great thing and I, and I, you know, I put God and my job on a scale and I'm putting both of them together and I feel like my job is just awesome amazing it's almost measuring up to God excuse me then when I lose that job it's going to really hurt me and cause me pain and sorrow and sadness because I done made my job seem like it was just so super spectacular and awesome and amazing and that was the only way I was going to be able to provide for my kids and that was the only way I was going to be able to do the things I need to do or whatever so when you think of your job like that of course you're gonna be sad if you lose it don't get me wrong i'm very grateful that i have a job i'm very grateful that i'm able to buy whew, that i'm able to buy my baby diapers and everything he needs kids choose for my kids pay my little you know the bills that i pay or whatever whatever i'm very grateful to be able to do those things i am so very grateful um now with that being said after i didn't express my gratitude um after, after I'm saying that, I want y'all to know that, you know, I'm grateful or whatever. But if I lose the job, I will not be sad or depressed. And this is why. Because in my eyes, God has made it to where I don't look at things as big as I look used to. And what I mean by that is my job that I have now, although it's a blessing, although I'm blessed to have it, excited and ecstatic to have a job, I don't look at the job as my provider. I look at God as my provider. And because I serve a great and awesome, magnificent, powerful, wonderful provider of a God, I don't look at my job as though it's my provider. I look at, at that God. And when you see God as your provider, losing the job is going to be very small to you because you know no matter what. <clears throat> Excuse me, because you know no matter what, God is going to provide for you, especially if you have children and you're trying to raise them in the Lord and you're trying to do the best you can. Like I said in another video, um, fear God, keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man. If you if you know you're doing all that you could do, if you know you're doing your best <clears throat> and you still end up losing your job, that means that <clears throat> although you're doing your best, you lost your job, that still means that God is going to take care of you. So the Lord, you know, a few months back or probably like a month and a half back, he had already been preparing me to see things in the right way. And I was big, I was putting my job as this major thing. So I was always depressed about it and sad about it or whatever, whatever. I was saying my marriage, although marriage is beautiful, I saw it as this big, fantastic thing to have. So when my husband went to prison, I became depressed about it. But now the Lord has been working in me and showing me that my job is, is nothing compared. My job at where I work is nothing compared to his provision. His provision is going to keep flowing and flowing and flowing. No matter if I lose or keep my job, no matter if I lose or switch jobs, no matter if I stop working completely and go to school, God is still going to provide for me i just have to be ready to receive whatever he's you giving me um and then like i said in my marriage i used to see my marriage as this grand great thing and i could never lose and i was so blessed to have it and it just meant so 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 much to me my marriage still mean a lot to me but it's nowhere near how 
you know, I had it as an idol, basically. And when you, when I see that my, the true love that I need comes from the Lord, the true provision I need comes from the Lord. I can talk to the Lord about anything. My desires are fulfilled in the Lord as long as they're lining up according to his will. I start to see my husband as a man, which he is a man, flesh and blood, human being. So I kind of broke down that idol of marriage, broke down that idol of my job and kind of like allow God to fill my heart and my mind with his provision and his goodness. So when I'm always thinking about the goodness of God, the provision of God, the greatness of God, losing my job seemed this small. And when I when I look at the greatness of God, my marriage seemed this small. That don't mean I don't care about my job or my marriage. It just means that I care about God more and I trust God more than I trust my job or I trust my marriage or trust my husband or trust my children or trust my anything. So the Lord has already been preparing me. You know, he's already been preparing my mindset. That way, if I lose my job, I'm not sad. I'm not depressed. I'm not any of that because I know how big and great my God is. I know that he owns cattle on a thousand hills. I know that he's magnificent. I know that he's awesome. Everything on this earth is his. He chooses to bless. We choose to bless. He chooses to take stuff away from those he chooses to uh, take away from. As long as I'm not looking at the wealth of the wicked and being sad or whatever and how they coming up and everything. And I know that the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous, not just in, you know, natural blessings, but spiritual blessings as well. As long as I know that, this little job ain't nothing. That's why, I ain't, that's why I'm not sad to lose it or scared to lose it. I'm doing my best to keep it. <laughs> But if I end up losing it, I'm not going to be sad at all. And I didn't know if that kind of threw y'all off and was like, she said she's about to lose her job and she ain't sad about it. No, I'm not sad about it. Because I know who my God is. I know who my provider is. And even if it's a even if it's a few months where I don't know where I'm how I'm gonna pay my bills, I know that coming right back after that is the provision from God. He may sit me down and teach me a lesson or whatever, but I know the provision is coming right back from God. Um whether it's tomorrow, today, next week, whatever, I know it's still coming from God because my God is awesome and he's my provider and he promised that he would take care of me um, and that he wouldn't abandon me, abandon me or leave me or forsake me or anything. So I, I'm not afraid to lose my job. I don't want to lose it, but if I lose it, I'm not sad and I'm not depressed because I know how big my God is compared to a job. Um, so my husband, now him being in prison with, with me, with the Lord showing me about my marriage and how it's how I'm supposed to put my trust in him, my, mar my husband being in prison don't bother me as much because I know how big my God is. I know where my true love comes from. I know where my true my true purpose is, which is to serve him, not to be a wife. Um, and it's and it's true in all these other areas too. But I gotta go get gas. Um, I just want to tell y'all that before, um, cause I want y'all to think that I don't care about losing my job. I do consider it. I am like, ooh, I don't want to lose my job. But when I think about how big my God is, that job's so small. Um, but my God's so great. It's plenty of ways He can provide for me. Um, if he made manna rain down from heaven, he can provide the money for me to pay my bills. So I'm not worried. It may be tough during some seasons. I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but I know my God coming right back with that provision. So, and I'm not walking in the evil way. So my God is there. He goes to supply my needs and I thank him and I love him. And I love y'all too. Have a good day.